We have been waiting for months to see the starship soar into the sky again. Because when it succeed, the trajectory of the space exploration will change forever. But FAA and now FWS don't seem as excited as we are. Or are they? The investigation took longer than anticipated, and although they keep saying that they are concluding the review, the time doesn't come. First, we need to understand why this investigation is necessary when it was a test flight. I mean, everyone could guess that Starship would explode during its very first test. But there's something you need to know. Even if it was a test flight, its impact on the environment could not have been guessed. Until the first launch, SpaceX was sure that their activities wouldn't cause a huge concern on environment. But the thing is, the explosion of Starship was a lot more powerful than anyone ever thought. It got pieces of concrete flying all over the place. Huge metal chunks from the rocket scattered into the ocean, and even left a dent in the nearby fuel tanks. And most importantly, the noise of the explosion disturbed the wildlife so badly that Federal Aviation Administration, and now the US Fish and Wildlife Service had to take some serious action. So basically, they got involved because the Starship launch was a serious hazard to environment. And just because the mission objective is so grand and important, it doesn't mean that the government should close their eyes to the obvious risks. Necessary measurements required for a test flight couldn't be taken. SpaceX got their launch license for that first test because they made sure that things will go smoothly and even if the rocket explodes, they will be able to mitigate the potential risks. But as you know, that was not the case. The engine failed and most importantly, the flight termination system didn't work because if it did, SpaceX could really reduce the negative environmental impact the flight had. Now why does the investigation take so long? Okay, we get that the FAA has to do its job, but it has been months. Actually, the FAA's investigation was wrapped up in September, while the FAA instructed SpaceX to take 63 corrective actions in order to prevent another destructive flight test. But the reason why SpaceX still doesn't have a launch license is because the FAA now have to consult with the FWS. Such consultations take place when a project and its impacts change significantly, when new endangered species are listed, or when other species weren't considered during the first consultation. Originally, the FAA tried to have a consultation in August by sending the FWS a new biological assessment about endangered species and their critical habitats in the area. However, the FWS later revealed that it did not have all the information it needed to begin the process. So only on October 5th, the FAA sent an updated biological assessment to the FWS, and only then the formal consultation began. So for almost two months, the FAA failed to make sure that the FWS had all the necessary documents. Now that the FWS initiated the review process, they announced that they would need between 30 to 135 days to conclude it. So we might not even see another Starship liftoff until 2024. Do you think we can see a Starship launch before 2023 ends? Share your opinions with us. The main focus of the review revolves around SpaceX's addition of a water deluge system to their launch pad. The deluge system sprays huge amounts of water during liftoff to reduce the heat, in addition to all the forces and gases the rocket will release. If you want to know more about space exploration, don't forget to subscribe. Considering the fact that the new Starship vehicle has been ready to fly for more than a month, SpaceX's frustration can be understood. But we shouldn't forget that both FAA and FWS have to do what they do to make sure that everything goes safely during the next launch. If you are curious why Starship means a lot to SpaceX, make sure to watch this video to understand everything the spacecraft has been through to be what it is now.